Hello, and thank you for coming to our YouTube page. Uh, this is Michael D. Diego, Sales Manager at Industrial Safety Supply Corporation. Today we're going to cover Ray System's newest addition to the wireless family, the Area Ray Pro. Uh, in this video, we will show you how to turn on, uh, the prompts that it goes through while doing so, and how to perform a fresh air calibration. To do so, we're just going to go ahead and press the on off mode button. And what you'll notice is it's going to go ahead and perform a uh, self-test. Uh, during this time, it's uh, checking prompts and uh, heating up that LEL sensor. And in just a minute, it'll go into the pump being turned on and then go through all of the apps that are in it. And we'll walk through those in just a second. So as you can see here, this is where it starts its prompts. Sensors installed and what slots they're in. And then IDs for each of the sensors that are inside here, what they're calibrated to, when they were calibrated, what they're set to as far as those are concerned, uh, uh, what the alarm levels are, serial numbers, and the warranty expiration. So I always like to talk about the warranty expiration. Um, that is the date in which their sensor is not covered anymore, but still could be okay as far as operation and use is concerned, as long as it passes a calibration. Notice that the uh, VOC sensor is actually set to, to PPB range, uh, this being a Pro Series, uh, that's, that's how they run this. And now we're into uh, real-time uh, readings. So to perform a uh, actual fresh air calibration, uh, what is super important when you do so? Uh, that's correct, that you actually be in fresh air. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, use the N button and the mode button. I'm going to press the N button and then the mode button to get it into a password mode. And as most of you know, the password for Ray Systems default is zero, move over, zero, move over, zero, and of course the last one is zero is also. Uh, I don't know if you notice this or not, but these are soft keys for this. And if I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and press the mode key. This will get me into the um, circle of uh, things that I can do with this. I'm gonna just go ahead and mode back over. It actually starts on calibration. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the select button for calibration. And the first one that's on there says fresh air. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the select button. Now notice it asks, um, or gives me a list of all of the uh, sensors that are inside there and doing so. And if you remember, I told you in the beginning that the um, uh, VOC sensor is actually set to parts per billion. And um, anybody that knows uh, VOCs knows that there is a select amount of, of uh, volatile organic compounds in the current air that we're in. Uh, and if I was to select the zero option without putting um, some type of other um, device on here that would actually wipe out those VOCs at PPB level, uh, I would be lying to my instrument during this fresh air cal. So what, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to go ahead and use this uh, zero vapor tube uh, for the calibration portion of it. And uh, notice that um, what one of the things that Ray did, I think a little bit backwards, was the way that they put on their sensor, or excuse me, their filter. Normally it goes on this way, so all you would need to do is put on a standard um, lure fitting and screw it on. 
Uh, but because they did it this way, I'm just going to go ahead and put this piece back on here. Uh, what we'll need to do is add a female lure fitting uh, to the end of my tubing uh, that goes to the zero vapor tube. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, scroll this piece on here and lay this down here so you can just kind of see what I'm doing. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the start button. It's going to take about 60 seconds for it to do a true uh, fresh air calibration. If you're utilizing just a, the standard area array, uh, you would not necessarily need to do this unless you were in a uh, background environment of VOC. Uh, what you'll notice here in just a second is so you get passes on all five of these sensors. And it should uh, give us those readings. You can notice that PPB actually says zero right now. And what I'm going to do is take you back and show you what I'm referring to uh, in fresh air that we're at. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the soft key back button and back one more time and it's going to apply settings. And you notice that the PPB reading is actually zero. Um, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and take off my zero vapor uh, scrubber and uh, what we should get in a second here once it starts registering is uh, some actual PPB readings. And uh, you can see that it's starting to climb up a little bit in doing so. Uh, so that would be the true way to do um, a uh, fresh air calibration um, to a PPB sensor. Thank you for visiting today, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.